Welcome to Learn EMG, an interactive quiz approach to electrodiagnostic interpretation. My name is Devin Rubin from Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. My hope is that through this program you will learn to better interpret and understand the concepts behind EMG testing and become a better electromyographer. This video tour is designed to help you get started quickly. If you wish to take this tour again, you can always run it again from the Help menu. This is the menu. You can open it by pressing this button in the top left, or you can close it by pressing it again. The menu includes seven different areas. The Learn menu is where I would encourage you to start when you first begin using the program. This consists of 10 different topic areas, and each topic consists of 20 different questions. The Quiz Me menu allows you to test your knowledge after you've spent some time learning. You can test yourself on all of the questions, or you can choose to focus on the areas that you feel you need to improve. While reviewing questions in the Learn or the Quiz mode, you can always bookmark or tag them if you want to go back and review those questions in the future. The Tag option allows you to review all of your tagged questions. The search option allows you to identify questions that deal with specific topics, such as blink reflex or polyphasic motor unit potentials. You can enter a keyword or a series of keywords and see all of the questions pertaining to that subject. The help option defines some of the symbols used by this app and is another way to access this video tour. The about us option provides you with a little more information about this application, about myself, and about Demos Medical Publishing. The Options tab at the bottom left of the menu is the place in which you can switch the audio narration to play automatically during the questions and discussion or to play manually. I would recommend that you listen to my audio as it does include a great deal more information than the text alone. Using the options menu, you can also reset your scores and reset your tagged questions. Okay, now that you know what each of the menu items do, let's go back to the learn mode and we'll select the first topic here, the basic nerve conduction study. Here you'll see the first question from the topic. At the top you'll see a visual reference and each question may have a different type of visual reference. There may be a still nerve conduction study clip. There may be a table demonstrating the numerical values of nerve conduction studies or the needle exam findings. And there may be uh, examples of EMG waveforms. The blue button increases the size or zooms the size of the image. On the left lower portion of the screen, you'll see a case summary and a question. You can hear me read the question by pressing the play button. On the right hand side you'll see a list of answer choices. You can choose from an option at the list that you think is correct by simply tapping on the answer. So for this question I think that this is the correct answer and I can select it again to confirm it or press the confirm button below. If you answer incorrectly, you can try again, but it won't count towards your overall score. Let's continue to the discussion. You'll see that the correct answer is displayed above the discussion. I'll offer some in-depth audio discussion of each question, examining the particulars of each question and the case vignette or scenario. Each discussion contains the visuals again, and there may be some additional visual images or waveforms to help explain the concept and explain the correct answer. We might want to come back to this question later, so we will tag this question so we can easily come back to it through the tag menu. We can return to the question to reread it, review the answer choices. The arrows in the bottom left will navigate to the previous or the next question. In a question that has multiple videos and or images, the circles under the images tell us that there are additional visuals for the question. Use the arrow to the left or right to see the additional 
visuals or to scroll back and forth between the visual images. If you need to check a normal value, you can use the normal value tables. There's one on the right side of the questions and discussions area. And using the normal value table, you can toggle back and forth between the motor nerve conduction study normal values and the sensory nerve conduction study normal values. While I understand that different laboratories or different physicians use different normative data, all of the questions used in this app are based on the normal values from our Mayo Clinic laboratory, which are shown in the normal value tables. And we can close the normal value table by pressing on the X on the right. Let's go back to the menu. Now, let's build a quiz by going to the Quiz Me menu. These stars represent your progress through each topic. More stars mean that more questions have been answered correctly. Now let's select a few topics from the list, and we'll use some of the advanced features too. I want to focus on the questions I haven't answered correctly, so I will choose Omit Correctly Answered Questions, and I do not want them to be presented in random order, so I will leave that unchecked. And I don't have a lot of time, so I'll press the minus button here so that I only have 20 questions to answer. And then I can jump into that quiz by selecting Start. That should be enough to get you started. I hope that you find that this app is engaging, educational, and informative. Good luck!